Hi everyone, welcome to the Sewing Swan. Today I'm going to show you how to make this nice um, zipper pouch with a ring for your keychain or an ornament or whatever you like. This is very handy and very easy. Zipper pouches make an unbeatable gift idea. They are never too many to have and they are great organizers for everything from your little sewing supplies to little uh, toys for the gift to your uh, simple makeup to everything to your coins so let's get started you will need two pieces of outer fabric measuring uh, five and a half by six and a half inches and the same measures for two lining pieces this is 100% cotton yarn. This beautiful um, fabric is by Free Spirit. And this is just a 100% cotton lining fabric. And you will need a zipper, matching thread, a ring, and you will need a piece of the outer fabric as a tail piece for the ring to attach it uh, measuring two and a half inches by uh, three and a half inches you will need your pins or your clips scissors or uh, your rotary cutter and of course your sewing machine place the zipper teeth facing down the fabric. I'm using a too long zipper because this is just what I have. Uh, you can go ahead and, and use um, uh, any smaller one that suits the length of your uh, of your fabric. Because it happens just that I'm using my stash of zippers. So the teeth, the zipper teeth, will be facing the right side of your outer uh, fabric, like this. And you will put the first piece of lining over it. So you will sandwich the zipper between the lining fabric and the right face of the outer fabric. And remember, the teeth of the zipper should be facing down to the right side of the outer fabric. And now you just use your pins or your clips secure and there you go make sure uh, edges line up uh, the lining fabric the zipper and the outer fabric all line up together and use as many pins as you need to feel confident to go and sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance you can use um, the zipper presser foot or a quarter of an inch uh, presser foot or just your regular uh, sewing machine foot whatever you feel comfortable using is the best and there we go I prefer using my uh, clips uh, except for the beginning and the end I like to secure with a uh, pen as it's just um, smoother for the foot to uh, to reach and not, not creating a bulk or I don't have to go too, too close to the to the clip uh, at the beginning and the end where the fabric shifts most by the way uh, we um, uh, fabric shifting is uh, likely but uh, slightly um, with secure uh, pinning or clipping and it is adjustable we can square it up at the end so we just go and sew our quarter of an inch seam. Don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and the end of your sewing. And I reach it then. I remove it. And when you reach a clip, you just remove it and go. I'm going slowly 
for the sake of the tutorial. Actually, you should go as slow as you feel confident to go. There is nothing really special about slowing fast and making mistakes or getting uh, less confident. Go as slow as you need until you master the technique. our sandwich I want you to get the zipper outside and you just with your nails you press the fabric and while before leaving your sewing machine I want you to get a one-eighth of an inch seam allowance top stitching uh, and be careful with your stitching because this will be showing so they need to the stitches need to be um, uh, even and the uh, sewing need to be nice and this is so much um, easy to do just go slow this seam make your pouch looks um, professional and less homemade that just give it a nicer look and now we attach the other uh, two pieces to the other side of the zipper and here we have sewn the other uh, side of the zipper and now we do the same we just open it So we have these sides facing each other like that and we just press it with your nails and an eighth of an inch seam allowance the same way we have done to the other side. And there we go, the two sides are top stitched. Now, before closing our pouch all together, we need to make the top piece. You can do it at the beginning, you can do it now, but just before you close your pouch. Here is the top piece. Fold it to the half side. And you need to sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance and of course use your pens if you need to now flip it out it's a very short uh, piece you can use your fingers or a helping tool this shouldn't be difficult of course you backstitch at the beginning and the end of 
you're sewing so uh, the parts or the sides does not come off apart There you go. Now this is optional, but I like the top stitch from both sides. But to open your seam halfway, I'm sorry, open your zipper halfway. You don't want to end with a closed pouch that you cannot open or use. So you just, you open it halfway and let it stay there and let's like we did with our uh, felt zipper before with any zipper before uh, closing the zipper uh, pouch pieces together you need to stitch this a little bit just to bring it together and for better control while sewing bring it together with a pin and then go to your sewing machine and do your best bringing it together like that there you go I remove the pin and it's still there together which is um, easy for, easier for sewing here is our top piece, top stitched from both sides and pressed. Now we just insert it into the ring and fold it. And now we get the two outer fabric together and the two lining fabric pieces together. And now we just sew the whole pouch all together to finish it. In the process of making this, we insert the ring with the tab inside, like that, into the right sides of the outer fabric, approximately three quarters of an inch from the zipper, three quarter of an inch down here we just put it like that with the ring inside I like to bring it out just to the side one quarter of an inch Secure it with a pin. And there you go. It's just coming out one quarter of an inch and secured with a pin. And now you bring the two outer fabrics together and the two lining fabric together. And we will sew all around, leaving an opening in the lining to flip and reverse our pouch when finished. Let me remind you to check your zipper. That is halfway, at least halfway open. And starting from the lining, you leave the opening in the middle bottom of the lining. And you backstitch at the beginning and go all the way and backstitch at the end leaving a two inch opening space. Let me show you how your zipper should be pointing to or folding towards. This is the zipper. When we bring the two sides together, it needs to be fold like this from the side so we can sew it either to the outer fabric or 
to the lining fabric always make it pointing to the lining fabric so let me show you here is the zipper you just fold it in and make the fold this fold of the fabric towards the lining there you go all secured with pins and take a mark where your opening should be so here is or here is where you start sewing and here is where you end or the other side doesn't make a difference now sew starting from one mark and all the way to the other with a half an inch seam allowance and now we sewn all the pouch together just straight lines just straight lines from the beginning mark with a back stitch and all the way with half an inch seam allowance to the second mark we took with a back stitch now we need to square it up and remove the extra zipper we have and also uh, um, fix any shifting any fabric shifting that happened during the sewing process and just remove the extra fabric or zipper that doesn't line up And you are basically finished from the opening you just bring the whole thing out you can open the zipper wide and just bring the pouch outside here it comes the outer fabric and our ring Just flip it out and point the corners. Using a tool, this would be very helpful to bring the corners out for a nice, sharp pointing look. You also bring out the corner of the zipper just give it a push from the inside and you are finished with an excellent zipper pouch gift one more thing to go which is the hand stitching the very little hand stitching if you want to hand stitch it I just go to my sewing machine and finish that two inch opening of the lining where we flipped out our pouch and I'm using my sewing machine all finished and so clean and here is the pouch perfectly made and makes the perfect gift I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for our next tutorial about uh, the double zipper pouch 
uh, please share our video with your friends that would be a great support for us thank you very much and see you next time